Today I'm working with the Aquatorium uh, platform Curve 28, 20, uh, stroke 39, that's 39 litres. Okay, and I'm working with that. I got that from Pet Barn here in Oz. Okay, so I just thought I'd let you see what I'm doing. I'm setting it up today, and this is the model I've got. I just thought I'd let you see because unfortunately, when I looked on the tube for some information for this tank I couldn't find it so I thought it'd be useful for you guys that uh, come across this tank that want some info so that's what I'm doing at the moment I've got another tank here I'm just going to transfer a lot of my weed and I have only one or two fish here because basically I knew I was going to um, transfer weed and whatever that I wanted to grow because it's so expensive um, from that tank to my new tank so that's what I'm doing now and I'll keep this tank for weed and for snails and small fish I've got one or two baby mollies in there and a snail as you can see and a sucker fish but that's about it it's very pretty um, with the you know logs and weeds so it's very useful if you have a tank that grows algae and whatever else but anyway today this is what I'm doing now what I've done is I selected, I'll show you, I selected um, a black diamond gravel um, um, for the look of it, but also uh, because it's purities, it, apparently it helps um, with um, stopping bacteria and whatever else. So I wanted to work with that and I want it to look good too. And I also got uh, pink sand. Now I'll put it right down if you can see it. Yeah, but I've got a bag on top of that. Okay, as you can see, while I'm putting the water in, because it floats to the top a little bit, and I put a rock there, and I'm slowly adding the water. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. So I thought I'd let you guys know that. So if you're doing that, it's very useful. Just do it really slow, and uh, put a plastic bag. But Make sure when you do it, just do it really slow and just, as you can see, there's no pebbles. There were a few over here floating because I've got a bit of a hole in the bag. Oops, um, don't want to uh, upset that, but uh, it's floated down to the bottom. But the thing is, I intend to leave this bag for a while after, after it's um, all full. Basically, the only reason I want to leave this in for a little bit after it's all full is to allow that black diamond gravel and that sand, pink sand, it's very pretty, um, to settle and stay without floating. So, and at the moment it hasn't produced any really uh, bad clouds of the dust that comes off it. So, and it's pretty good. So it's good quality. So that's all I'm doing at the moment, slowly doing that. But when you do that, I'll try if I can, I don't know whether I'm that clever, making another clip and doing it. So you might have to have part one and part two with me. Sorry you guys, I'm not very good at editing at the moment. But anyway, that's what I'm doing. So once you fill it up, remember, 39 litre aqua, aquatorium, you put, I've got the instructions, I rung up Pet Farm, they're really, really good. Very nice. Now it's, um... The bio starter is seven mils for three days, okay? Only three days, and then after that, it's every seven days with the bio starter, with the 39 litre with this tank. And then after, oh, well, of course, your seven mils of conditioner. You can put it in after it's full, um, and there you go. So that's all I'm doing. And I will show you the heater that I'm actually going to work with at the 50 water. I just put it here, might be able to do it all, all this YouTube in one, so it's a 50 watt as you can see, um, so let's say, 50 watters there, so, and all I asked the lady at Pet Barn what I, what I do, and she said once you fill it up, put your bio starter and whatever else, this, you just, before you turn it on apparently, you turn it right up, full ball, and then you turn it down, let me see, let me see, to 26, which is here. 
Okay, turn it up, turn it down to 26, and then emerge it into the water, and then turn it on, and then bombs away. And I'm going to leave three days of settling before I put any fish into this tank. So, um, yeah, so there you go. I really hope you enjoyed this bit. Remember, you're working with, uh, you know, your sand and you're worried about any clouding. That's what I do. And as you can see, it's they're not doing too bad. And I do a follow-up once I have all my weed and whatever else from this tank. And as you can see, I've got a little bonsai tree here that I brought, which was quite expensive. So I'm going to have a go at making my own. But once all these moss and java moss and, you know, your pearl, pearl plant and whatever else and that goes in, um, and your grasses, of course, see? Your grasses and I have a bit of that cuttlefish there for this guy or lady apparently they she does go on it a few times and sucks whatever she needs out of it the calcium but she likes it doesn't do any harm to the, the fish that I've got in there which is not too many but anyway and uh, once I transfer all that into there I'll show you guys and anyway hope you really enjoyed this till next time I do have YouTube, my my planet uh, channel, <laughs> planet, <laughs> wow, my channel name is Planet Australia Channel, so look me up, but anyway, I thought I'm not really, you know, into fish and doing tutorials or whatever else for fish, but I thought, well, I've got this and I couldn't look up any information on it, so I thought, why not do my own, so anyway, sorry for the shaking, my hand's getting very heavy from holding this phone. See you later guys. Bye. Hope you enjoyed this. Happy fishing.